Obasan Joe's in law, John Abebe, sentenced to seven years' imprisonment for fraud. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Newsport TV. The Lagos State Special Offenses Court has sentenced former President Olusha Obasan Joe's in law, Mr. John Abebe, to seven years of imprisonment for laundry and forgery. Justice Mujisola Dada gave the judgment after it was established that the prosecution proved its case beyond a reasonable doubt. John Abebe, who is a younger brother to the late former First Lady Stella Obasanjo, was arraigned for forgery by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. Abebe was first arraigned on 26th of July 2018 on a four-count charge of fabricating evidence using fabricated evidence, forgery, and attempting to pervert the course of justice before the law. An oil company, Statoil Nigeria Limited, had on 22nd June 2010 accused Mr. Abebe of forgery. It alleged that the defendant forged part of a net profit interest agreement, NPIA, drafted by British Petroleum BP and dated 30th November 1995. The commission noted that the buyout option only applies to the pre-production stage of the MPIA. The $4 million buyout is thus irrelevant from the production of oil in any of our fields. Also, EFCC added that the businessman attempted to perverse the course of justice by tendering the allegedly forged 30 November 1995 letter as fabricated evidence in court. In suite number FHC LCS 2242010 between Indocon Nigerian Limited, Dr. John Abebe, and Start Oil Nigeria Limited. Justice Dada gave the convict an option fine of 5 million naira to be paid within 30 days in lieu of imprisonment. So, this is the shocking news. From the in law of ex president Olushe Gumabasanjo, John Abebe, who is a younger brother of the late first lady of Nigeria, late Stella Obasanjo, is one that is shocking to many. Although, as you just heard, the case has been on for a long, long time. And you know how the judiciary system works here sometimes that cases are being dragged for a long time though there was a time he was granted bail and all of that but now it's either he pays the sum of the 50 million naira within 30 days or it goes for the seven years jail terms um well from what people know that 50 million naira might not be a big deal for john john abebe who has laid low for so many years since this trial started the once upon a time bubbly man enjoyed life to the fullest, especially when his sister became the first lady of Nigeria. John and Stella and all of their remaining siblings um, were always known to be very close-knitted, you know, as they grew up in a very love-filled um, marriage between their parents, who died at age 90 and 89, respectfully, that the father and the mother. Their father was a top shot at... UAE Foods and some other companies at that time, a highly successful and educated man who gave all his children solid education. The death of Stella Obasanjo was a rude shock, not just to Nigeria, but a devastating blow to her family members at almost the peak of her life when she was enjoying the beauty, the you know, euphoria of being a first lady of Nigeria. Unfortunately, she passed away when she went for a liposuction in Spain. And that is the only first lady that so far has passed on when she was, you know, occupying the first lady position. May her beautiful soul rest in perfect peace. Um, her husband, Olusha Gomba Sonjo, you know, has, you know, always, you know, prided himself by being the responsibly married man to Stella Obasanjo, who stood by him through thick and thin when he was imprisoned by the military issues they had by that time and all of that before he came out and became the president of Nigeria. 
They always spoke glowingly of Stella Basanjo, who stood her ground, running around for her husband to be released from prison. And as God could have it, he was released and, with the cooperation of ex-military military president at that time, because he was once a military president, he was made, you know, he was pushed forward to be the president of Nigeria and he won the election, you know. So it is quite disheartening for this to be happening to the family of Stella Abbasanjo, who many still remember fondly as one jolly go lucky woman who was very colorful, bright, intelligent, and who did a lot of underground work for her husband at that time. People speak glowingly of her, of how she would always run to people like Professor Wally Shoinka whenever he had issues with Olusha Gumabasanjo, especially when they're exchanging banters online and everything. She's seen as a peacemaker and somebody who loved people. She was, you know, very classy in her own definition of being classy. And also she had an NGO at that time. However, the, you know, death came calling in a very unfortunate situation just about a few weeks to her 60th birthday that was planned already with pomp and pageantry. And unfortunately, the, should we say the Ashwaibi uniform celebratory outfit that was chosen for her birthday was used for her burial. Her only son, Olumu Iwa, also came out on her burial to, you know, pay his last respect. And since then, um, he got married immediately after because he was also planning his wedding. And honestly, that is one death that we do not really like to remember in, you know, in a long time to come. You know, it was just an end to a future that was so promising. The shock was so much for our family members that... Um, you know, they had to bury, they buried five children actually before they passed on. So it was a lot. The family of Abibi has gone through so much, you know, having parents who live to the age of 89 and 90 years old, bury five of their children within a span of less than 10 years. It was really, really, really so much. So the question is, you know, what is Baba Orusha Gumba Sojo going to do about it? And, you know, the relationship with his in-laws and everything. Whatever the situation might be, hopefully, he'll be able to pay the, you know, um, Abebe will be able to pay the 50 million naira option that is being given. So, he might avoid, you know, the the seven years imprisonment that it was given. One thing we should know that the judiciary system still works a lot of time. It just gets really tiring when a case has been dragged on for over 10 years and there seem to be no, you know, solution in sight and all of that. But crime is crime, you know. If you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. So, we wish them all the best. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for always stopping by. Once again, may the beautiful soul of our dear first lady Stella Basanjo, rest in perfect peace. See you in the next video. Bye for now.